everyone, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lot Fun. Today I'm creating a card with the Scribbled Sentiments Winter, Simply Celebrate Winter Critters, a Snowball Fight, Penguin Party, the Platform Pop-Up Dies, the Henry's ABC's Dies, the Brick Stencil, the Snowflake Background Stencils, and the Snow Cool Stamp Set. As always, I am starting my card today by coloring all my images. Everything was stamped out and then heat set with my heat tool and I'm ready to color. I have had a couple of comments asking for the colors I use when I color critters. So I'm attempting to show all the markers I use and <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> as they are sometimes upside down on the screen because I'm learning. <laughs> but anyway, I decided to color these penguins in teals because I thought it would be fun. And I love gray penguins. I love all penguins. These penguins, I mean, don't, don't let it fool you. <laughs> it did cross my mind to color them in rainbow colors, but I decided to stick with teal and I really love how they came out. I think it adds just like a little bit of fun and whimsy to these cute, cute, cute images. I am using the darkest color first, then the middle color, and then pulling it out a little bit with the lightest color, leaving space uncolored. And then I take my not very wet at all <laughs> uh, water brush to uh, pull out the last color. Um, see, my yellows, they're upside down. I didn't know that. <laughs> so sorry. I they go back and forth. Some are right side up and some are upside down. Um, I'm using a little bit of mustard to shade the yellow and then very tiny bit of color. Look, such a tiny bit of color. And then my water brush to pull it out um, just to add, you know, a little bit of color. I don't know, yellow and teal, they look really good together. So that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. And next I'm going to use the oranges for the beaks upside down again. My apologies. It's a bright yellow and orange. And these are such small little areas. I really only needed one marker, but I am just using a little dab of each color and a little dab of my water brush. I'm coloring all the beaks and the little flippers of my penguins, the same colors. And... Uh, it goes so fast because they're such tiny little images. Next is the grays. I'm using a platinum brown and warm gray too. And for all my snow-ish type images, I'm just using a tiny line of the platinum brown, the warm gray too, to pull that color out, mostly leaving the image white, and then using my water brush to pull the rest of the color to the center or wherever I wanted it shaded. And uh, that's really uh, easy. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a gray color. Next, I'm gonna add pink cheeks to my images. I'm using pale orange and a light carmine. And I just use the light carmine. I go over it with the pale orange. And then again, my water brush on top to uh, lessen the brightness, <laughs> the vibrancy of the pink cheeks. I, um, I'm using a fog gray, which is a cooler gray, to add the um, little bits to their hats. And then a natural beige and pink to do the scarf and the little penguin's hat on the right. Just a little bit of bright pop of color. And then I'm using the same teal I use for the penguin, but this time with a mint. It's um, the turquoise green with a pale green. And this is my favorite mint color combination. I'm just using a little bit of the turquoise green and pulling it out with the pale green to create the the minty the minty fresh color. And I like the I like that the accents are that hot pinky color and the mint color. And and the, those are my images. So simple, so fun. Next, we're going to work on the main part, which is the platform pop-up die. I die cut the main base two times. I die cut the T shape three times, but I end up only using two of them. I am showing you that one of them, I trimmed the perforated edge off, which is how you would 99% of the time connect your platforms. But this time 
I decided to go a different route, which I'll show you. And then three snow hills. I am using the brick stencil and my platform pop-up bases. I'm going to be using Distress Oxide Lost Shadow just to add a little bit of gray. This may look very similar because I am using <laughs> my, the method to my madness was I wanted to make this gray similar to the gray that I colored the snow in, you know, the, um, the snowballs and the, the snow penguin, because I wanted this to mimic like a, uh, igloo for these penguins to party on. And I'm using a little bit of the fairy sparkle paste just along the, uh, border, the edge right there at the bottom. So it kind of looks like there's a sparkly edge, um, at the bottom of, uh, well, essentially when it's put together, it will be the outside of the entire platform. And I did that for the first platform. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process for the second platform. I'm taping it so that my stencil doesn't move as I ink blend and add the um, glitter. And just, I mean, I'm really not concerned about blotchiness. I just kind of want to get um, the, the soft gray color through. So it looks, you know, it looks a little bit like the, like an ink loop. That's all. <laughs> That's really it. And then I'm going to use the same paste again, just along that bottom edge strip. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for, strip. It doesn't go through the whole thing. I'm literally just using the very edges of the bricks themselves. Next, I die cut out the joy letters from the Henry's ABC die set. And I'm using peacock feathers and salvage patina just to uh, mimic the colors of the penguins that I had colored. As you can see, they match perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same fairy dust. I die cut out a circle using acetate, and now I'm going to attach it to my snowflake background stencil and use the same fairy dust paste to add to the acetate circle. And that's what I'm going to use to connect the two platforms instead of using the third shortened T die set that comes with the platform die set. And I'm gonna set that aside to dry so I can start putting together my platform. I am just folding all of the perforated lines away from me. It's a little bit crunchy <laughs> because of the glitter I added to that strip, but um, I mean, no big deal. <laughs> just a heads up though. And I'm just gonna fold the other platform as well, just along all the perforated images, I mean, perforated lines, and make sure that they, you know, fold really nicely and crisply. Then I am going to take the one eighth inch tape. I'm going to fold along the perforated line of the T die. I am adding tape to the top edge of the platform box that angles in as well as the bottom perforated part of the T die. I am sticking the T through the little slit with the, uh, adhesive facing the inside of the platform and pulling it tight so that the edge of the T is tight along the slot. Then I'm going to remove the tape again from the top of the platform die itself. I have a little bit of trouble because I had a bandaid on my finger and it made it very difficult <laughs> to get the release paper off. And then I just fold it up like a step and look at that easiest thing in the world. My platform is done. I am adding tape to the uh, tab die on the, that platform. I'm going to repeat the process on the second platform. Same thing. I'm adding tape to the T. I'm adding tape to the uh, tab on the platform. I'm going to stick the T through the die cut slot on the platform base. Pull it up. Make sure it's nice and tight with the edge of the T along the slot. And again, I'm struggling with the release paper. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to attach it to my platform, take off the release paper from the platform die set itself, struggle, take the struggle bus, fold it up, and look at that. I'm two platforms done, ready to go. I'm going to add a little bit of tape to this second tab on the second platform, and then move on to the next part of making this card. This is where you would usually use the third shortened T. 
However, I'm using that circle acetate that we added the sparkle embossing paste to, and I'm going to start by attaching the two strips together. Then I am going to add adhesive to both strips on both sides of this platform. Release, remove the release paper from the tab, fold everything over like a book, and look at that. We have a perfect snow globe. I literally could have stopped right there and made a snow globe card. And I really hope someone does make a snow globe card because it, it's so easy. <laughs> anyway, I, you know, I'm keep, I'm going to keep going and I'm making my, I'm adding some of that same sparkle paste to the edges of these uh, hills that we die cut from the platform die set. I'm going to set that aside to dry for a little bit. And now we're going to kind of figure out how to put this card together. Together, we're gonna do it. Together, together. <laughs> Before I got too far into placing the penguins, I knew I wanted to finish the sentiment so that I could include the sentiment when I you know, do placement for the penguins and everything on this card. Because we all know, sometimes I forget to place the sentiment <laughs> and then I just have to make a spot for it. So I'm heat embossing part of the sentiment from the Scribbled Sentiments Winter. And I fussy cut that out. As you can see, it's in the top part of the screen. And now I'm adding the die cut joy letters to my acetate circle that has the snowflakes on it. And I set them aside a little bit so that the sentiment would be in the middle and the joy, you know, kind of finishes the sentiment. But I mean, I know it's not in the right order, but I, I really like how it came out. <laughs> it's different anyway. And now, here we go. Let's add these snow hills to each of the uh, T-shapes that are sticking out in our platform. I add one to the very front. I'm also adding one to the acetate circle. Uh, I just wanted to. It was just something I thought of. And then one to the very back as well. And now I'm just kind of placing my images, thinking how I'm gonna create this scene. I wanted to use as many of these cute little penguins as possible. And I do end up using them all, spoiler alert. <laughs> and I'm just using glue, I'm attaching, I'm putting glue only in the places where it's gonna touch either those snowy hills or the acetate. And then I'm just holding it all down uh, with the glitter, um, the, the glitter I added to a lot of this card. Um, it makes it a little bit harder to um, adhere things to it. So I'm just giving it lots of time to stick together. And I attach that little penguin to the back side of the sentiment. So, it, I mean, there's so many layers in this card. I really like how it turned out. And then I, I'm like, how can I use this, these penguin strips, a strip of penguins? I really wanted to use them. Bingo. I'm going to put them on the bottom of the card wrapped around. So it completes, uh, you know, the joy is all the way to the right. These will be left justified. I'm again, as you can see, using heavy things to hold down the adhesive so that it sticks to the glittery part of my igloo platform. And I am going to attach this last little guy to the back of the card as a last little wish of holiday cheer. <laughs> and I really like how this little guy came out too. Adds a little pop of color to the back. And that's my card. I really, really love how it turned out. Look how cute these penguins are. I love that glitter acetate snowflake we added. Thank you, Grace, for that idea. Did I mention that I got the idea to use the acetate circle for the platform um, pop-up die set from Grace? I may have forgot to say that earlier. Check out the intro to the platform pop-up die set that Kelly Marie did. She talks about a card she was inspired to create by Grace using the circle acetate, and that is where I got my inspiration to create this little snow globey type card too. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me making this card. Be sure to check it out on the Lawn Fawn blog, and I'll see you next time.